Today's sponsor is Filsinger Games. Join in taking over the galaxy at filsingergames.com. On today's episode, I want to welcome Bob Terryb- Terryberry. Yes. Bob Terryberry, Adam Hughes, and Stephen Michael Cobb. Uh, Bob is directing 12 Angry Men, and Adam is helping produce it. And he's also playing juror number seven, and Stephen is playing juror number eight. Um, first, I'd like to thank you all for coming on the show. Sure. Thanks, Thanks for having us. Thanks for having us. Um, <clears throat> so, 2014 is the 60th anniversary of the original mm-hmm. Telplay um, by Reginald Rose. Right. Um, what made you guys decide to perform 12 Angry Men? <laughs> well, it's been, a, it's, obvious, it's been around in most. We didn't have a hard time casting this because a lot of people want to be in it. You know, mm-hmm. a lot of people who have done a lot of community theater or, you know, or even straight theater, I think, like to do it. And Ad, Adam's one of those people. <laughs> yeah, and the, and the choice to do it all kind of started with the library who is, who is benefiting from each night's performances. Um, they saw the, we did the winning streak last year, and Ann Plyler, who um, works at the mm-hmm. library, saw the show and saw what we did and um, contacted me and said, you know, we're looking for new fun, new fundraising outreaches, you know, ways to, ways to fundraise and, you know, can we be a part of your, of your performance next year? And then, so then in picking a play for the next, for the next year, I just kind of try to think of a play that would be a good fit for the library, a good fit for us, and, you know, it's a, it's a classic and everybody knows it and, you know, probably make a little bit of money. <laughs> so, And there's also the, the challenge, somebody says, oh, you'll never get 12 men, you know, that's why they don't do 1776, the musical, because you never get enough men, you never get, well, there's a, there's a lot of people. We have 12, we have 13 actor, good actors, great actors in yeah. some cases, not you, but anyways, <laughs> great actors in some cases, yeah. and um, we had... I bet we have another ten that wanted that right. would have liked yeah, to James be part of it. Oh, yeah. Talent. yeah, and yeah. men yeah. will men will come out for shows that are, you know, that have a lot of men in them, but they don't want to be in, you know, the Sound of Music. You know, they right. don't want to, you know, don't make me dance. Every I'll act, right. I'll act, but don't make me <laughs> dance. <A musical> like <laughs> yeah. Right. Um, so the 1957 film had Henry Fonda as juror number eight, and what got you into theater, Stephen? Um, well, I got into theater in high school, and um, and I actually uh, I went to college and studied theater, and I acted for um, I was an actor and a set designer in New York for about ten years. Um, so that's what got me into theater, and then I I got kind of burnt out and um, focused more just on set design, and then got into another business, and so that's so now theater is just for fun, and that's <laughs> that's kind of good. So. Cool. Yeah, um, and we are having fun. I mean, rehearsal yeah, with ten right. guys Absolutely. with <laughs> with weird senses of humor <laughs> is a fun event. Right. Um, how did you guys get into theater? Uh, I don't know. I mean, it's just been long a long story. time. I've been yeah. yeah. It's a long. Uh, well, uh, it's been since I moved to Jamestown. Actually, I was in one play I think before I moved to Jamestown in 1970, and then I got in a show at Little Theater and. Um, that's where I met my wife, and I got hooked, and we did shows for shoestring and other things. And here we, here I am, you know, about a hundred shows later. Mm-hmm. Oh. <laughs> you know. That's some experience. Right yeah, it is. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, mine was high high school. I mean, the first musical I auditioned for was in tenth grade. I auditioned for Oklahoma, and I got cast as Ellie Hackham. And then, um, mm-hmm. you know, since then the ball just kind of kept rolling. <laughs> I've done probably like forty five shows in the past fifteen years. So. <laughs> I've been uh, a busy bee. Mm-hmm. I mean, I've slowed down since I've gotten married, but, uh, you know, there's priorities in life, but I still, you know, that's why I, I produce now to have kind of control over, you know, what I do and not, you know, be a wild, crazy man. <laughs> hey, you know, this, there's a lot of, a lot of producing going on in town. There's a lot of, Which is yeah. a lot wonderful. Of yeah, it oh it's really God. is. You know, there's All lots, the time. there's always yeah. something going on and, you know, and, and collaboratively too, you know, nobody's jealous of anybody else or, you know I mean Stephen you've been in it every for he's only been home for a couple of years yeah. crazy. you've been in every venue in town I have. haven't you I have. Have. JCC no I haven't uh-huh. JCC well, so Stephen has been in everything JCC. that I've been involved with since I met him oh. two years ago <laughs> everything I've done it was just wonderful I mean I and I directed two of them yeah I mean yeah. <laughs> or this is three yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. 
Yeah. Steven directed um, last year, so did Bob. Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. So, yeah, this has a this uh, production has a lot of characters. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. Do you guys have any specific roles that you have played or want to play? Specific no, it's, characters it's that you too like? late. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know you've probably done a lot. I've of done, them. yeah, I've done a lot of them. Yeah, I, there's, I have nothing on my plate. You know, you know, there's nothing I want to do. I can't stay awake long enough. You know, <laughs> one act plays or you know a ten minute uh, skit I can do, but uh, no, uh, I, I don't have anything I'd like to do. I, it, there's got to be something out there for me, you know, the aging <laughs> father, the not the father of the bride, the grandfather of the bride, you know. So uh, <laughs> if they do grandfather of the bride, I, I got a role. You know. right. I'll write that for you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, there, this show, uh, Reginald Rose that wrote it, he delineated all these characters. You know, you got twelve guys on stage, and they can't all be the same. They can't sound the same. They can't look the same. They got to have right. different, you know, different uh, <laughs> problems in their own life. You know, that come out in this courtroom it's all in real time so whatever time the length of the play takes that would be the time that this jury took to uh, either convict because I can't give the I can't give the ending convict or uh, acquit this uh, the guy who is uh, on trial so uh, these these characters are pretty well defined by the author and it's a it's a chore I mean you guys gotta gotta come up with that character but even if even if you do know the ending, which a lot of people <laughs> might, but I'm not going to give it away. But it, it, the characters are so well written mm -hmm. that it, it even if you know what's going to happen, the characters yeah. are great yeah, to yeah. watch. It's the journey, not yeah. the yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. right. And yeah. that's and that's any play. You know, you start with a good mm -hmm. script. I mean, because you can take a you know a lousy play and you know make it look okay, but it's not right. a good. It, when the writing yeah. is good, you know it kind of all falls into place. And we're right. totally benefiting from having a wonderful script and, a, thank goodness, a bunch of wonderful actors, actors yeah. that are totally on their A-game. Like, the, it's been one of the easiest productions I've been a part of in a really long time that everyone is just there. Mm. But the problem is getting 12 guys together for a, a series of rehearsals. They'll all yeah. be there for performance. I hope you guys are going to be there. <laughs> I'm set. Okay, oh, good, good. I am off. <laughs> Performance is one thing, but it's uh, getting everybody to those rehearsals because it's that timing. Because it, you know, it's yeah. gotta, it's mm -hmm. gotta go. You know, you can't be build that up. about eighty percent. Yeah, know. yeah. We're giving a, we're giving uh, coupons for French fries at McDonald's if you're perfect a good attendance. Atten perfect attendance. <laughs> so uh, most guys are out of the running already. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Skip are gonna pound those French oh, fries. Good, good. Um. <laughs> So, you can picture it, can't you? Uh -huh. <laughs> well, I mean, I guess people really need to know when and where and how they can get some tickets, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, it's here at the at the Spire Theater. Uh, it's a, a new vent, a new uh, place in the building. It's in the it's in the basement. Uh, you know, we're hanging lights from the rafters and uh, you know rolling in seats we're doing it in the round which I think is a kind of a neat way to do the show uh, hopefully yeah. the audience feels the tension that the actors feel they're you know? more yeah. on level with the action right. oh yeah right, yeah. right and they got to keep their feet under the seat because they could be tripping actors because yeah. we're going to be pretty tight in there but it's it's all yeah. right you know uh, it's it's going to be exciting because I don't think anyone is more than 12 feet away no. from the action no so never it's going to be no. great well yeah. and you know you're not going to see those faces till opening night too. Right. So we're right. we're rehearsing without mm -hmm. faces six feet from yeah. your face. You know, uh, you yeah, know. There's no be a lot different. From there's being no. On stage uh, yeah, yeah, a it's lot different. Kind of yeah. dark and you can't see mm -hmm. people. Mm -hmm. No, you'll yeah. they'll see the audience. Here, you're 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 almost right there. They're right them. there. Yeah. Yep. It's kind of cool. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so it, it's uh, the tenth, eleventh, uh, and twelfth of April, okay. and tickets are on sale at the library. Uh, $12. Uh, the majority of that, you know, very, our expenses are minimal uh, or non existent almost. So uh, the majority of that goes to the library. And so they're hoping. It's a good cause. Yeah, yeah, it's a great cause. It's a cool. great And they're being really cooperative too. Yeah, awesome. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, I think we covered everything, right? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for, so, thanks thank for having you. us. Yeah. Thank you. Our pleasure. Thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> um,